loss in weight of solid in tap water and salty water. Aim to establish the relation between the loss in weight of a solid when fully immersed in 1. Tap water 2. Strongly salty water with the weight of water displaced by it by taking at least two different solids. Materials required Spring balance Measuring cylinder Two different solid objects Laboratory stands Thread Overflow can Water Salt water Wooden block Procedure Find least count of spring balance The least count can be found by the given equation Least count is equal to the measurement divided by number of divisions. Hold spring balance vertically. If the spring mass does not have graduation marks in terms of Newton, multiply mass with acceleration due to gravity at that place. Ensure pointer of spring balance is at zero mark. Place overflow can on wooden block. Fill the tap water in overflow can until water begins to flow from its spout. Place measuring cylinder on the bottom of spout of overflow can. Tie one object with thread. Tie the other end of the thread to the hook of the spring balance. Clamp the spring balance with the laboratory stand so that the object is suspended freely in the air. Measure the weight of the object in the air. Slide spring balance until the object is immersed in liquid. Immerse the object fully in tap water. Measure the weight of the object in tap water using a spring balance. Collect water displaced by the object in an overflow can that flows out from its spout in a measuring cylinder. Measure the volume of displaced water in the measuring cylinder. Repeat this experiment on salty water. Take salt water in the overflow can. Place measuring cylinder on the bottom of spout of overflow can. Tie one object with thread. Tie the other end of the thread to the hook of the spring balance. Clamp the spring balance with the laboratory stand so that the object is suspended freely in the air. Measure the weight of the object in the air. Slide spring balance until the object is immersed in salt water. Measure the weight of the object in salt water. Measure the volume of displaced salt water in the measuring cylinder. Compare the weight of displaced tap water and the weight of displaced salt water of the same object in both experiments. Repeat these experiments on another solid object. Observation Do the calculation and observe the difference between the loss in weight of the object and the weight of displaced liquid in tap water and salt water. Conclusion An object's weight in tap water is greater than that of an object in salt water. The volume of displaced salt water is greater than the volume of tap water for the same object. 
When an object is immersed in the fluid, the fluid acts as an upward force on the object, known as buoyant force. The density of salt solution is greater than the density of tap water. The buoyant force is proportional to the density of the fluid. So, the buoyant force for the same object is greater in salt water than in tap water.